This tutorial we're going to be learning how to make a granny triangle so without further ado let's get right into it so basically you have we're going to start off with a magic circle and everyone should know how to make a magic circle i'm using the red heart super saver yarn and whole wheat or something like that so, I am going to chain three, one, two, three, oh. chain three. And then you're going to be making, instead of regular granny square, you make four clusters of three double crochets. You're going to be making three clusters. So one, this would be two. Three. Then you're going to chain two. And do three more. And then you're going to chain two and do another set of three double crochets so if anyone's a little confused I know it probably went fast you're doing three clusters of three double crochets with chain two in the middle so one two three and then you have your chain two in the middle so now we're going to close up uh oh sorry guys we're going to close up and then we're going to chain two, one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we did to start off, which is right here. So, which is right here. So, if it ever wants to get through. So, this is how it's looking right now. chain three turn your work and go into this space right here you can also change colors but I will not be changing colors so I'm going to put two clusters of the three double crochets. With the chain two in the middle. So, Okay, so yes, so we're doing two clusters with chain two in the middle, and it's gonna be three double crochets in each cluster. So we're gonna do that for the second round, and I'll do it with you. This is three, I mean two, 
three. One, two, and then So now we have two clusters in here. Now we have to do it one more time. And this is the perfect yarn to do it with because basically this is exactly what it's for. And guys, it's kind of hard because I'm looking from behind the camera, so please bear with me. Um, yes, yeah, so now we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, six clusters, two in each space. And now we're going to just slip stitch into the first um, double crochet. Technically, it's a chain three, but it's acting as our double crochet and I'm just gonna go into the top one the best way I can And then you're gonna chain three. Turn your work. And now for round three, you're gonna go into the first. Now you can cut the yarn and change colors with, to whatever the yarn you have. If you wanna change colors for each round, that's up to you. But I just like to chain my slip, st slip stitch chain three one two three turn my work and then start making my double crochets so now for you see the triangle is forming has its three corners so now for this round um being that we stayed with the same yarn we're not changing i'm just gonna do like i did before and i'm gonna pull up and on the spaces on the sides, all we're doing is putting three double crochets. And then once we get to a corner, that's when we'll do our two clusters. So this is one cluster and then two clusters. Um, hopefully you don't hear too much of the noise outside because they're pressure washing the um, porch. So then you're just gonna go right into your corner space and put your two clusters. Chain your two, go right into it. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And then we back at another side, so we're going to only put three double crochets on the sides. And then we're at another corner, so we're gonna put our two clusters with the chain two in the middle. One more. Sorry guys, I have to get some yarn. So now we're back at another corner. 
Now we're back in another space, another side. So we're just gonna go in with only three double crochets. And now we're at our last corner. So you'll only have three corners and you'll have three sides, but you'll have the bigger, the more rounds you do, you have more um, spaces to put just three double crochets in because the only time you're putting two clusters is when you get to a corner. Other than that, it's only one cluster, which is gonna be three double crochets. So we're back at our last corner. And now all we're going to do is slip stitch into our chain three, which is right here. So So now, this is how it should be looking. We've only done one, two, three, three um, rows, and I'll do a fourth row with you guys so I can show you. You see how it has two spaces here, whereas the last one only had one, and we're still gonna put only three double crochets in the spaces, and then six double crochets in the corners and this is how it's looking right now so i think i'll do one more row with you guys just to show you so like we said before we're going to chain our three turn our work and make our three double crochets in the side spaces, in the corner spaces, we're going to put our six double crochets separated by a chain of two. One, two. So now there's one space on the side with the chain three, I mean with the three double crochets. There's another space on the side. With the three double crochets. And now we're back at a corner. So we're gonna put our two clusters in the corner. And you guys can skip ahead and then I'll show you what it's looking like once I'm done. Okay guys, so now that I'm done, I've finished all of the rows. Um, we did four. One, two, three, four. I slip stitch, I cut the yarn, and now I'm just gonna pull it through. Secure it by pulling it straight turning it down because that's my back side and this is what it's looking like right now and you have your granny triangle I think this is so pretty because um, especially because of the your color yarn you can use this to make whatever you need to make purses bags um, bralettes um, you want to add some pieces to your skirt or different projects wherever the case may be um, once again, excuse the noise. I'm sorry. I didn't know they were going to be pressure washing as I'm recording my tutorial. So 
yeah this is what we have i think it is so pretty i think it's so nice make sure you guys subscribe make sure you comment make sure you like and stay tuned for the next video